Hey guys, Mamie here. Welcome to another card tutorial today. I am using the My Favorite Things stamp set here and it's called Cool Cat and it has really, really cute stamps of these little sweet kitties and I'm going to be using the kitties that are in the basket today. And a little food bowl, a little potted flowers, and a fish bowl. And I'm going to be making a scene card today. So I'm going to stamp out my images here with the Misty. So I can just do them all at once. And I'm going to be using London Fog Memento Ink, which is just a lighter ink. And I'm not going to be trying to do no line watercoloring by any means, but I just wanted it to be a little bit lighter color outline because um, the card itself is going to be more pastel and, and uh, soft colors. So... And here we go with them all stamped out. I'm just using regular Georgia Pacific uh, cardstock. And I'm taping it down so that it doesn't move around out of frame. I'm going to be using my Copic colors here to color the kitties in. And I'm using the W family here. I'm going to just gonna be using W1 and W5. I'm not going for a serious amount of contrast or anything. I'm just trying to keep the colors soft, but at the same time have good um, shadows and everything. So I've got the W1 and the W5, and I put a little bit of the W5 down in the shadows, and I blend it out with the W1. And I'm pretty much going to do the same with the other kitty as well. I'm not even a cat person, but I feel like all the cats I've been coloring lately, they're really starting to grow on me. They're just so cute in this little basket. Oh. And here I am just trying to blend everything out nicely. And if it gets in the white areas, that's fine. Uh, you can just use your blender pen, uh, your blender blending marker and push back that color a little bit, but I'm also going to do a little bit of gray light gray um, In zero pretty much in the eye area just to give it a tiny bit of shading Down there at the bottom of the eye and then I'm just kind of blending the whole thing out with uh, I'm using my spectrum nor here blender pen Now just putting a little bit of the pale pink there in the ears. And I really shouldn't have fussed very much about getting out of the um, line because I end up fussy cutting it out anyway without any border so but that's okay <laughs> and then here we have the precious little bow tie So now I'm coloring in the basket and I am trying to use the same colors kind of um, throughout all of the stamps image stamped images here um, with as far as like the pinks and the light grays and things like that. So I'm trying to just keep it consistent with light colors. I'm going to color the little blanket light and the basket light. Mm 
just a little shading under their hands some shading on the sides of the basket and underneath the blanket there a bit just blend everything out Now I'm moving on to the fish bowl here, and I'm trying to create some little streaks in the bowl. I, right now I'm just trying to um, lay down some color and figure out where I want those highlights to be in the bowl. I'm trying to make them streaky to look more like water, kind of like rippling water a bit because the fish is swimming around in there. And now I'm coloring in the vase as well. These images are so small, I'm barely doing any um, blending or anything. coloring those flowers and blending them out. Adding a little bit of gray on the glass to give it a little bit of depth. And finally coloring the little kitty food bowl here. I only have like one or two or three oranges um, in my Copic, so I think I really only have like two shades. Okay, so we're all colored up and ready for our next step, which is fussy cutting. So I'm not going to bore you with cutting all of these pieces out, so they will magically cut themselves out. I'm not leaving a white border, I'm just cutting right around the images themselves. And I'm not being too particular about leaving white spaces, and I'll show you why in a little bit. So the in between the kitty cats there, whenever I put them on the scene, I just color in with my a Copic color that's close to the background color, and you can barely even tell. I should have used my brother's scan and cut, but I was just too lazy to sit down and turn it on, and <laughs> it's pretty sad. So now I'm going through some of my 6x6 paper pads, and I love my 6x6 paper pads. So I found this really pretty, like, looks kind of like a plaster wall kind of thing, kind of feel to it. So I'm going to use that as a background wall. And then I found this really cute wood grain, and I'm going to use that as the floor. So that'll be the wall and the floor. And I don't, I don't really ever have an idea before I start making my card what I'm going to do. Um, I have like an idea of the stamp set I'm going to use, and that's about it. The rest of it is like, as you're watching, is what I decided to do. Um, I do do a lot of editing because it would take forever for you to sit and watch every decision that I made. And it would probably be, I think it takes me like, I don't know, an hour and a half to make these cards. So I have to edit it down to about 15 minutes or so. But, but I do try to do it all just flying by the seat of my pants. And I have this really pretty um, 
pattern paper here that has all these pretty like mirrors or they could be picture frames and often I will cut these out to make uh, you know like a background picture or window it's really versatile you can use it for a lot of things and I got that at Tuesday morning where it came in a pack of like the same pattern paper so I have like 50 sheets of that same design so I try to use it as much as I can and it's cute so so here I'm cutting out one of the little windows yeah I think I'm using it as a window here and I love the little splatters on it it's just so cute So we'll put that right about there. Put our kitties front and center with their precious little whiskers. Now I'm just kind of trying to figure out where to put everything. I don't have like a, a lot of scene stamps. Actually, I don't, all I have is just the few things that I have like, I don't have like couches or any kind of stamps or things like that to kind of put in the background for a scene. So I just try to make do with what I have here. So we're putting the fish bowl right there on the floor. <laughs> but that's okay. It looks cute. And the vase in the flower seal there. I mean uh, in the window seal, rather. And so now I'm just coloring in the area that I was talking about earlier. So I'm just coloring in the middle to help fade it to the background so it's not so stark white in the middle between the two kitties, that little white area. And I can't I could even go a little darker, but I really wasn't concerned. It you can't even tell unless you're paying attention. So now I'm gluing everything down. And here I am using um, multimedia mat. And put down the food bowl there. I didn't put any food in there, so we'll I guess we'll just assume they just ate their food and they are full and happy and relaxing in their basket. So I really like this card because it's uh, just very light colors, and I really usually like bright bright colors but um you know every once in a while I like to go into the soft color world and uh I really liked it very feminine very sweet card and so now I'm going to stamp my sentiment that says thank you for being there when I needed you and the needed is in k n e a d e d how cute is that and I stamped that with the same uh, what is that? The London Fog Memento Ink so that the sentiment could be light as well. And so finally I'm going to just do a little bit of finishing touches on the card here. I am using the it's kind of like um, glossy accents but it's called Irresistible Pico Embellisher and I don't know I've just tried I, I sometimes just use that or I'll use glossy accents it's just really there's no rhyme or reason for why I use one over the other one um, as far as this Pico embellisher goes I thought I had gotten the one that has sparkle in it 
but I didn't. <laughs> so um, I'm just trying to use it up, really. I guess I could put some, yeah, maybe I could put some, like, uh, what's that called? Some perfect pearls. Put some of that in there, and maybe that'll start making it, like, a little bit shiny. But anyway, uh, so I just use that, and I'm putting that to give the vase sh some shine and then give the uh, fishbowl some shine to make them look like glass. And the only thing I don't like about that technique is that it kind of like blurs out the Copic coloring behind, underneath the glue, the Pico embellisher or glossy accents. It kind of just makes the color kind of spread out and bleed, but it's not too bad, I guess. And so finally I'm gonna come in with my Wink Estella and just glitter up some things here. And really, that's going to be the card. So thank you so much for joining me today. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.